we're definitely seeing an increase in the number of skin cancer cases. Um, this is something that uh, we typically think of affecting um, older folks. As we get older, we certainly have an increased risk of skin cancer, um, but we're also seeing quite a trend towards the increasing uh, numbers of skin cancer amongst young folks, and especially young women. Uh, the proposed uh, theory behind that is, boy, there's something that's changed in, in, in our environment or things that we've become exposed to over the past few decades. And, and really the thing that, that's come into play are tanning beds or artificial ultraviolet exposure. We think that the exposure to tanning beds through, through tanning bed use, especially with young women, has contributed significantly to the increasing uh, rise of both uh, skin cancers that are not melanoma, what we call non-melanoma skin cancers, but also the more concerning deadly form of skin cancer are called melanoma. When you're checking out your skin, you want to look for moles that look like they don't belong. Some of the features that suggest a mole doesn't belong are uh, moles with irregular borders or moles that have many colors, uh, moles that don't look the same when you fold it on, uh, over on itself, uh, moles that are larger than the size of a pencil eraser. Uh, but the most important feature that I ask my patients to look for is a mole that's changing before, uh, before one's eyes. When I talk to patients about sunscreen, I always recommend that we use enough of it. We need a full shot glass size of, of sunscreen in order to per, uh, cover our entire skin. And if we're thinking about the, the sprays that, that um, people often use for their convenience, that's a good 60 seconds of continuous spray, um, really getting the entire skin glistening. And if you're using those sprays, uh, you also want to, uh, after you spray it on the skin, to apply it and to rub it into the skin to make sure that there are no spots that get missed. 